Hi friends, today I am going to be doing an ink blot makeup look and I'm starting out making sure my skin is very hydrated. I want the skin to look perfect and beautiful for this. I'm using the NYX Born to Glow foundation on my face and then Tarte Shape Tape as my concealer today. I'm taking the excess concealer and placing it on the other high points on my face, above my lips, my chin, and on my nose. Here I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder to set everything in place. I'm using the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, which is just a clear gel to hold my brows in place and give them a decent look. And the ink blot process is going to be a lot of back and forth and practicing your symmetry and that skill. So every time I do something on the left side, I try and mimic it on the right side and then do a little bit of touching up. You can play it around a lot with this look and just have a lot of fun with it. Create a design that you plan ahead of time or just kind of go wherever your brain takes you. Right now I'm using a P. Louise product, but then after this coffee break, I will shortly be switching to my Mayron Paradise body paint. This is going to give a little bit of a variety of color and make the ink look like it's a little um, less perfect and more worn, I guess. Here I'm using body paint on the lips and making sure that they're staying as symmetrical as possible. I also had covered my lips with foundation so they look the same color as my skin. Here I'm going in with some eyeshadows in different shades of red and setting the makeup and also giving it more dimension. I'm kind of buffing out and blending out the eyeliner, eye makeup area here. I'm using the Blank Canvas Acid Rain from P. Louise and putting that on my lid. I'm applying my highlighter just all over on the high points and making the look really shiny and glowy. Next, I'm going in with some contour. And I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray with my lashes and mascara on. This look is complete. Thank you guys for watching. Over meadows, insides from grass. 